It is truly remarkable how many lives this young man touched. Even after nearly a decade, how many friends spent time at his gravesite today? How many people came to the dedication ceremony? And now about a mile and a half from Los Alamitos High School where he went, a tribute to the fallen hometown hero. It's the worst thing that could ever happen is to bury a child. It's been nine years since Dee Dee McPherson lost her son. 26-year-old U.S. Army Ranger Sergeant Tommy McPherson was killed in action in Afghanistan. It was two weeks before the team leader was supposed to come home from his fifth deployment. He yelled out, I'm hit, I'm hit. And they asked him where he's hit, and he said in the leg. Well, that means you don't have to go to him and really help him. You can go do what you need to do. If he had said in the chest or, you know, somewhere else, they would have gone to him. Was he really shot in the leg, or did he just no. say that? Okay. He was shot in the heart. Yeah. So they say he was like a hero for that. The husband and father of a now 10 year old grew up in Long Beach and graduated from Los Alamitos High School. The nonprofit Honoring Our Fallen is now dedicating the nearby 605 interchange at Catella Avenue after the fallen hero. They say a hero remembered is never forgotten. Remembered with the Purple Heart and Bronze Star Medal with Valor, among many other awards, and now with part of a freeway named after him. A young man who, like so many, fought and gave his life for our freedom. Freedom isn't free, and it really does take men and women to step up and, and go around the world to protect our freedoms and our country, and we did a lot of good. Um, you know, we can't go into parts of the world and think that we're going to change the way they are. We just aren't. Well, they have a different way of living and thinking, but we can go and help them, you know, let people be, try to give them some freedom. And I just wish we would have gone in there, took care of business and gotten our booties out of there, <laughs> you know, but we took 20 years. <laughs> Tommy was shot once. He was the only one who died that day, but there was a young man standing right next to him who was shot 13 times and has survived. And that's what Tommy's mom says. That's how she knew that it was his time. They're hoping to install that freeway sign in the next couple of weeks. Reporting live at Los Alamitos High School, I'm Haley Winslow, Fox 11 News. And you think about all those people that died after Tommy over the many years as well. So his mom just seems remarkably strong how does she do it? You know, this really, Alex, tested her faith. She said she really struggled for a while, and through it, it has really strengthened her faith. And she's met little kids named after Tommy and seen so many people with tattoos of him. I mean, he has touched so many lives, and now she spends her time helping other mothers who have lost children in war. She really is one of the strongest people I think I've ever met. Gosh, Haley, I, I teared up when you said that she said it was his time. Very emotional there, but... What a really special honor. Thanks, Haley. Yeah, well deserved.